home prices are surging. Home prices are up 15% year over year from the beginning of 2020 to the year of 2021. Well, why should you care? Well, the reason why you should care is because you now have more equity in your home than you've ever had before. And more homeowners than ever are applying right now in the first quarter of 2021 to take advantage of this. Because right now we're seeing unrealistic growth in home prices simply because the lowest amount of inventory that has ever existed since the United States has monitored how many homes are listed for sale is currently taking place right now. We have less than 1 million homes listed on the MLS. Well, why is that such a big deal? Because the fewer homes that are listed for sale, therefore it's a simple rule of supply and demand. When there's less homes for sale and you have a growing demand, the price of those homes goes up due to bidding wars. The average offer that I'm seeing here in SoCal is getting between 40 and 60 offers. And the average home is selling right now for anywhere between five and 10% over the list price. Right now, what's happening is, is mortgage rates have begun that upward reversal. People have to remember, the only reason why interest rates dropped from the mid three and a half percent in the beginning of last year was due to COVID and the federal government having to come in and buy massive amounts of mortgage-backed securities to make sure there was liquidity in the market. It wasn't because people weren't buying houses or there wasn't because there was a slowing down of the real estate industry at all. Because of that, interest rates plummeted down and hit their all-time lows in November of 2020 when they bottomed out on a 30-year fixed conventional loan somewhere in the mid twos. Well, what's happened since then is we've had the announcement of two vaccines that have come out and the more shots that go into arms, the more our economy begins to rebound. And we will, no matter whether you talk to Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, the Mortgage Bankers Association, or the Realtors Association, every single one of them has a bet that interest rates will return to pre-COVID levels by the third quarter of 2021. So what does that mean for you right now? Well, it means you have more equity in your home than you've ever had, and interest rates are still extremely low. Now, yeah, interest rates are up three-eighths of a percent from the beginning of the year. Should you have refinanced in December of November? Yeah, hindsight, you should have, but you can't go back in time and rates are not going to reverse this trend. There's absolutely no reason and there's gonna be nothing that is gonna force them back down. As we see that dollar strengthen and we see less and less mortgage-backed securities purchases, interest rates will return to those high 3%. So what I would recommend for you to do right now, if you have any desire to either one, get rid of your PMI because you had PMI when you obviously bought your home, or two, you have a solar loan, you have want to put in a pool, you want to pay off credit cards, you want to refinance a debt consolidation loan, you want to take a higher interest rate debt and actually pay it down, then look at doing a cash out refinance. Do not wait, do not wait. I promise you this, right now is that time where if you wait a couple more months, you will see interest rates up another three eighths to a half a percent as really that's the only thing that all four major housing parties agree on between Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, the Realtors Association, and the mortgage bankers is that we will all see interest rates in the high threes by the end of the year. So what are you waiting for? Drop me that question and I'll get right back to you.